Thanks, Mike. Expanded health and wellness services are coming to St. Paul. Fairview Health is announcing big plans for their campus that does include St. Joseph's Hospital. Shayla Reeves is live there this morning in St. Paul with more on that vision and how this entire plan comes together. Shayla. Hi, good morning to you, Heather. This is really going to improve access to medical care for a lot of folks here in St. Paul. So if you're wondering, hey, can I just go to one spot and get this service, get that service? Well, this new wellness hub is going to fill in that gap. I'm here right now with Diane Tran. She's a, with Fairview Health Services. Good morning to you. Good morning, Shayla. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So this is really going to fill in a gap and address some health disparities. Can you tell us how the Fairview Community Health and Wellness Hub will make it difference. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're really excited about it because our aim as a health system certainly is to provide excellent, equitable, and compassionate clinical care within our hospital and clinic walls. And at the same time, we know that what impacts health and well-being you know, is largely impacted by things outside of our uh, control in that way. And so the opportunity to bring resources, programs, and services together uh, in this venue, which we believe is accessible in the heart of downtown, um, is really going to provide people an opportunity to come to one location and to know that that place is filled with services to promote health and well-being. Now, what are some of the kinds of services people will be able to find? Well, we're starting off by having Minnesota Community Care, uh, the largest federally qualified health clinic in the state of Minnesota, provide services, so low-cost, clinical, and other supportive health education uh, and resources. Uh, we also have Second Harvest Heartland and a number of other food security and food justice programs at the Santa Foundation, Christian Cupboard, Emergency Food Shelf, and Keystone Community Services uh, provide food storage, distribution, and then pop-up food shelves uh, this coming fall. Uh, Ebenezer uh, Senior Living will provide adult day services, and then we'll also be expanding our uh, mental health uh, resources as well uh, at Fairview in terms of providing clinic, uh, clinical services. So those are a few of the services people will be able to access. And why is making this type of resource available important at a time like now? This is certainly a time to act. You know, the status quo has been leaving too many Minnesotans far behind. And because of that, we're committed as Fairview to be able to uh, drive resources to create greater inclusion in our communities. And so this is a way for us certainly to uh, hold on to an enduring location and mission, you know, as the first hospital in the state of Minnesota. Uh, and then to be able to evolve and grow based on what the community needs, the opportunities that are available, uh, and what we can do together in partnership. So this is really a time to respond, and we're excited to be able to bring these resources to bear in this way. All right. Thank you so much, Diane. Of course, the food services are going to be made available through Second Harvest Heartland and some of their partners. That will start before Thanksgiving of this year, as well as the other programs will actually start in 2022. So the food services this year, the rest of the programming coming in 2022. Uh, and of course, the goal to make health care more accessible uh, to folks in the area. So this will be another resource and an opportunity for for folks to maintain their health, uh, not just go to the doctor where they get sick, but maintain their health along the way. Jason yeah, and Heather. We, we've known for how a long time St. Joseph's has been vital in St. Paul there, but great news on all this expansion. Shayla, thank you.